Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create vintage effects on a single object in Illustrator using patterns and strokes and some rounded corners. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. What we're going to do is create this circular shape here over the top of a background that I've already created and with some text in the middle of it. So I'm just going to turn the pieces off that we're not going to be looking at in this video and have a look at this piece. And this is just a single path. There's nothing fancy about this. It's all done with a single path in Illustrator and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So let's just turn off the visibility of everything and let's add a brand new layer. I'm going to start with the star tool here. I'm going to click on the star tool and click in the middle of my screen. Now I have preset my star. The radius is going to be 250 and the second radius 200. So there's a small difference between these two values. That's going to give us a very shallow star. It's going to mean that the points are very shallow. If this were a larger value, then the points would be very deep. And I want mine to have about 20 points on it. So I'll just click OK. And this is the shallowness. This is the 50 points difference between the outer and the inner radius. If it were a great difference, a much, much larger difference, then we'd have points that come all the way in. But this is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to target this shape. And let's go ahead and let's put the curviness on it. And to do that, I'm going to choose Effect and then Stylize and then Rounded Corners. I'm going to turn the Preview on and then I can adjust the value of the radius here to get the effect that I want. And I'm thinking that somewhere around 40, something like that, will give me the rounding that I want on this shape. So I'll just click OK. And now my shape has these really nice rounded corners. I'm going to change the fill on it. So I'm going to target the fill and let's go and see what we have in the swatches panel here for some colors that we could use for the fill. I'm thinking one of these sort of peachy colors will be quite nice. So let's go and get this color. Now this may happen to you where the fill is going out into the star shape but the stroke is staying curvy. And if that happens, just go to Effect, Stylize, Rounded Corners and click Preview and you'll see that the fill will then be also constrained to this rounded corner shape. So just do that and click OK and everything will be as you expect it to be. Now let's go to this outer stroke and let's make it a color that is consistent with the color scheme that we're using. So I'm just going to click here in the appearance panel and I'm just going to go and get a darker version of the red that I'm working with. Probably something like this, it's subtly darker. And having chosen that, let's go in and let's just increase the point size of the outer stroke. Now I want a pattern in here as well as my pink, so let's go and get the pattern fill as well. Here is my pink fill, so I'm just going to target that layer, if you like, in the appearance panel and click here to add a new fill. And I want to go and grab a pattern fill that I've already opened and added to my pattern swatch. And this is a pattern fill from a website and I'm just going to go and quickly check my notes and just see who it's from. It's from a pattern site called Pattern Head and the person there has some really, really lovely patterns that I like to use. So this is one of their free patterns from PatternHead.com. Now you can see that the pattern is behaving as we expected it to inside these curly edges, but look and say that the pattern's gone over the top of my color. I really love the pattern, but I don't want it over the top of my color. So let's just open the opacity here and what I can do is I can blend the pattern in with the color underneath and color burn is a good option for this. I'm now getting the pattern, but also the original color. And if I wanted to make the pattern a little less than fully opaque, I could do so. So I could bring it down, for example, to 80%. 
So now we've got part of what we came here for. We've got a stroke and a pattern, but remember we had an extra stroke in there. Well, the way that we did that was offsetting the stroke from the shape. So let's go and get this particular stroke and let's go and offset it. I'm going to choose Effect and then Path and then Offset Path. And again, I'm going to target the preview so we can see what we're doing. You can see that this 10 point offset has driven the stroke outside the shape by 10 points. Well, if we go in a negative direction, what we do is we bring it inside the shape. And that's giving us that sort of scalloped edge here. So I'm just going to click OK and take that as my inner stroke. Now if you remember the original shape also had an outer stroke. Well, we can solve that here in the Appearance panel by just adding another stroke. So I've just added another stroke and it currently has the same color as the original, but we can make it a different color if we want to. We could actually just use a slight brown color for it. So here in the Appearance panel, what I have done is I've added a fill. It looks like I've got one too many fills here. Let's just get rid of that one. I've got a pink fill. I've got my pattern fill that also has some blending in it, the Color Burn Blend. And then I have my stroke around the outside of my shape. It's applied with rounded corners. The path is offset and then there's a second stroke that is not offset, so it's around the edges of my shape. So let's go back to where we were originally. I'm going to turn on the background layer and then turn on the text and I just need to move that into position because I didn't have it quite centered before. So there's the element that we came into Illustrator to create a shape that had this sort of scalloped edge around it. It has an internal stroke, it has a pattern, and it has a color. And you can create that using Illustrator using just a single shape. And the benefit, of course, of using a single shape is that it can be scaled. So we could scale it if we wanted it to, to make it smaller or bigger as we want. And all of the elements within this shape, the pattern and the stroke and everything are being resized automatically with it. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom and a whole lot more.